Hi, and welcome to another edition of the Weekend Warriors Workshop. Uh, today's edition, we're going to be working on a on the film positives for a four color process print. Uh, so we need to do four color uh, separations for CMYK. Now the program I'm going to use is Photoshop CS5 edition. It's an Adobe product and it's not cheap, but it is a, a real handy tool. Now the same thing we're going to do, we could probably do with an open source program such as GIMP, but from what I've been playing with and looking at GIMP, I don't like the output of it, the, the way the dots are generated because they're not really dots, they're, they're really jagged looking and I don't know if you can get the angles that you want to get on the dot. And we'll look at those angles and stuff in just a moment. Uh, so first thing I want to do is open my image and the image I'm going to open is that of a DC comic superhero or action comic superhero if you're old enough. Superman. Now this isn't uh, the image for me to print and sell or anything like that. This just has so many colors in it that it's good for, for, uh, well, for practicing with. So, here's my image. As I said, I just got it off the internet. Lots of good color in it, as you can see. Uh, should it should reproduce very well when I ever get around to printing it. And uh, well, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is have your image color mode set to CMYK. So in Photoshop you do that by selecting image, going to mode, and then selecting the CMYK color mode. And it'll pop up and it'll tell you what you can, what uh, uh, color mode that you're going to select, in this case US web coded swap V2 profile. Um, I don't know enough about profiles to be able to tell you if that's the way I want to go or not. Um, I've only done two CMYK prints at this point, but I do know the theory behind how the, the uh, positives were generated. And that's all we're going to do today is we're going to generate some film positives, or at least the art for film positives. So I've set it up for CMYK color mode. Now I'm going to go to my window and make sure that my channels are enabled, and they are in there down here in the uh, lower right hand corner. And it shows you four color channels, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And where you see the heaviest deposits of black, that's where you'll get the heaviest deposits of ink. And then of course it gives me all four channels mixed together. So now I've got my four channels, I can see my separations, but now what I need to do is put, make halftones. Uh, because halftones are, are the way you get the image onto a substrate. You can't directly print because you won't get the right color matches. Um, you, you won't be able to get shading. Uh, halftones are what allow newspapers to print pictures with shading. That's how we get images with shading onto t-shirts, are the different halftones. And all halftones are are dots. So using using Photoshop I'll go to the filter, I'll select pixelate, and I'll select color halftone. Now it asks you how big your pixels are, how big your dots are going to be, the max radius for your dots. And uh, because this is a 600 dot per inch uh, image, if I want to select I want to get like 37.5 lines per inch. So we're looking at about a radius of 10 pixels, which means my, my diameter for my dots are going to be like 20 pixels. And then for each color channel, okay, channel 1 is cyan, channel 2 is magenta, channel 3 is yellow, channel 4 is black. I want to select a, a dot angle. How they're going to sit next to each other so that uh, you'll get the right colors basically. So now I'm not an expert on this. I'm using the angles that my mentor Tigeron suggested a while back and I've been doing some reading and uh, other authors agree. 
while there's uh, thousands of people out there that will tell you, no, 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 those are the wrong angles and, and you have to use this mesh screen um, where in my last couple of prints I used different meshes from what everybody said and I got pretty darn good results. So there are no absolutes. You just got to play until you find what's, what's going to work for the image you're trying to do. So in this case, I'm selecting 10 pixels, going to give me somewhere around 37 and a half lines per inch. I'm getting uh, 15, 45, 75, and 75 for my, for my dot angles. So I'm going to select OK. And now Photoshop is going to pixelate this thing for me. And if you look carefully, you can see that there's, it's done with pixels. And if we enlarge it, you can see those pixels starting to pop out at you. And we'll look at the flesh tones here. And we, what you see is the flesh tones are made up of magenta and yellow and, and a little bit of cyan. And the different angles you see uh, are what's producing your shading. So how much we're overlapping and at what angle we're overlapping. So they're not sitting right on top of each other, they're overlapping enough to give you the proper shading in each area. And then of course there's the black which is going to form your, your outlines. So let's come back out now. And now we can separate it out into each color by selecting the color over here on our lower right. So select, select cyan and you can see where we have darker shades you have a real close concentration of dots where we have lighter shades the dots will be a little bit smaller and farther apart so if I come here to the face you can see where there's lighter shades you have smaller dots good distance and so on you can see how the the dot size and all that changes as the colors lighten. And this is how newspapers print their pictures. So there's cyan, there's magenta, once again darker areas or heavier deposits of ink, coarse yellow, and black. And black is used to give you your shading. And we'll back out here so you can see the whole picture. There we can see our buildings. Buildings should have a lot of yellow to them, and they do. A little bit lighter on the magenta, even lighter on the cyan. Whereas his blue uniform is heavy on the cyan. A little bit lighter on the magenta, very light on the yellow, even lighter on the black. Okay, from here I can actually print the image. I can print my transparency, my film positive. So I'll just go to file and print. And I'm going to, in this case, once again, yeah, I'm not even close to being an expert on doing this, but I'm doing my best. My color management, I'll let Photoshop manage my colors. I'm going to choose a color profile or a printer profile. Uh, using Photoshop 5 default CMYK and that's part of a pull down list off to the side there. Um, I'm making sure I print nice black points and then I would also set up my printer in this case I'm using an HP PSC 1200 and I would choose the correct size and the medium in this case it's going to be an other transparency film and I would go for a heavy deposit maximum DPI so 1200 dots per inch and then I would go ahead and print if I had the printer set up and ready to go which I don't right now uh, so I would just save this now as rename it Superman CMYK so I can pull it up another day but I'm ready to go I can print my transparencies then I can shoot my, my screens, wash them out, and print one of these. Which, when I'm freed up from everything my wife would like me to get done, I'll do that just for this and, and a continuation video. But that's about it for tonight. Um, look into 
you know different options for uh, for photo editing software. Uh, once again, Photoshop. Everybody is here's a photoshopping that's pretty much you know gotten into our vernacular these days. Uh, so real popular program, and uh, well, yeah, that's about it for the evening. So you guys keep up the good fight, and I will see you next time. And hopefully we're printing some screens at that point of Superman. So take care. I'll see you. Bye.